evening to the honorable judges, teachers, and my worthy opponents. The title of my speech is Problems of the School Education System. Without further ado, let's get started. Parents send children to school to prepare them for the real world, which is changing very fast. But the school education system hasn't changed much first since it first started 100 years ago. The school education system was first invented to nourish factory workers. At school, students do most of the things by following instructions. But how far can you go by just following instructions? In the modern world, you require more creativity and cooperation to be su successful. At school, students need to follow the schedule that has been controlled by the system. This will lead students not knowing how to manage their own time. On the other hand, at work, no one is there to guide or teach you, and you need to do it yourself. Besides that, most of the learning in school is not authentic because it only relies on memorization. Every few months, the school will be administrating exams to measure what has been retained. This has formed an unhealthy culture for teachers, parents, and students. Students spend endless hours memorizing facts and formulas that they will forget soon after the examination is over. Next, there is also not much room for passions and interests in the current education system. We have a standard system where each child must learn the same thing at the same time in the same way. Everybody has different different passions and interests in what they want to do in the future and what's best for them. Each of us is also different in how we learn, in how much time we take to learn, and in what tools and resources are best for us. But the school education system has not much room for such differences. Our school education system, which evolved in the industrial age, has become outdated. If we want learning to be effective and engaging, then there should be some changes in the current education system. That's all about my speech. Thank you.